today I'm going to make a fish curry using ikan kacang. I'll show you the type of fish later. I'm going to make fish curry with coconut milk. And what we have here is coconut oil. But you don't have to use coconut oil. If you have, use it. That will be more authentic. If you don't have, just normal oil will do. Coarse salt, coconut milk. I have some curry leaves here. One big onion, a bit small. And I've got here a one inch ginger slice, which I will coarsely blend with this garlic. Okay. That's about three, six, seven pieces of garlic. And there's very small onions here, very, very small onions. And there's about 15 or 16, really tiny. This we will coarsely blend later together with all this. This will be sliced. And I'm going to use three tomatoes today and I'm going to coarsely slice them. And I've also got some bendy. The other spices that I'll be using is of course coriander powder, chili powder, turmeric powder and a little bit of fish curry powder, just very little. Okay, mainly it's those things and seeds will be one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of fennel, one tablespoon of mustard and half a tablespoon of fenugreek. Tamarind paste, I'll get ready because I'm using three tomatoes. I'm going to see whether I really need the tamarind or not. And this will be sliced. Hari ni buat kari ikan dengan santan eh. ni kari yang pekat sikit dan nanti gunakan minyak kelapa memang asli lah minyak kelapa tu untuk masakan macam ni tapi kalau tak ada tak apa pakai minyak biasa saja ya okay. blend coarsely tiga-tiga ni kita blend kasar-kasar tomato tiga ni kita slice eh saiz agak nipis bukan macam selalunya wedges semua kan ini tak sebab anti nak asam untuk kari ni datang dari tomato lagi sedap padanan tomato dengan cili hijau this tomatoes i will slice them a bit then hari ni anti nak eksperimen sikit sebab tak pernah masak ikan kacang saya selalu ingat orang Melayu saja yang masak ikan tu tapi hari tu tengok youtube dekat India orang-orang yang takat ikan tu dia orang makan memang buat kari kata dia orang sedap goreng pun sedap. So nanti nak try. Tapi kali ni dapat yang kecil-kecil. Tiga. Tiga ekor sepuluh ringgit. Satu kilo sepuluh ringgit. Okay. We cut out the tomato, the bendy. Only the edges. And lightly fry them before you make the curry. Because I will only add it at the end. You don't have to use bendy if you don't want. Okay. Nanti habis semua ni. Potong-potong hujung dia. Ini anti goreng sebentar saja dalam minyak biasa atau minyak kelapa dan kita keluarkan. Lepas tu masuk akhir saja ya. Ini virgin coconut oil Memang bagus untuk kesihatan ya. Bagus untuk pertumbuhan rambut Ulek dan kisah Virgin coconut oil yang ini Kita ya. ambil sana selama ya. dan masukkan biji sawi dengan halba api kecil lepas tu masukkan jintan putih kemudian jintan manis dan satu biji bawang besar saya sederhana saja ini sampai kekuningan kita tepukkan oil anda medium di medium to low di add in the mustard, the fenugui, the fennel and the cumin all measurements are given at the back then add in the curry leaves Dan daun 
kari yang ni bahan-bahan blend ya. Halia, satu cili hijau dan bawang putih. Semua anggaran ada dekat description box. Wangi sekarang. Add in the coarsely blended ginger, garlic and fresh green chili. Cook it until it browns somewhat. At this stage, you can add in a bit of cold salt. the tomatoes are cooking down we get ready the white powder we are going to use 2 tablespoons of coriander only 1 fish curry powder 2 tubuk terumak 1 tubuk kari ikan 1 tubuk lembekan chili 1 2 and the fish curry powder is only one tablespoon, whereas the chili powder is two. And I'm going to add in the turmeric, which is going to be half, half of a tablespoon only, as well as some freshly chili powder. I think I'll be using one. Okay, so morning kita kacau kacau, done. Masukkan. Kalau nak tapai pun boleh ya. If you want, you can put it as it is. Or if you want to sieve it. I prefer sieving it. Nanti suka tapis-tapis ya. Okay, I've tasted it. It needs a bit more salt. Or salt. Put another one and a half small spoon. And one flat teaspoon of this asam jawa extra. One flat teaspoon. Kita juga masukkan satu sudu kecil rata asam jawa extra. This is the ikan kacang. I'll try and get a picture of a huge ikan kacang. What it looks like. So you, if you see it in the market, you can buy it. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit more if there is anything and use coarse salt and pinch. With a little bit of minyak powder while the curry is slowly cooking. Sementara kuah ikan ni masak perlahan-lahan, nanti taruh garam kasar kunyit dalam ikan kacang ni dan bersihkan betul-betul. Okay, nanti masuk sedikit lagi garam. Garam kasar ni. Sebab, kadang-kadang ikan ni semua dia tarik tau garam. I'm adding a bit more salt. And towards the end, I'll add in a bit more coconut milk. Because this is a curry that is made with coconut milk, coconut oil. Salt is just nice. Everything is just nice. Only the coconut milk will go in the end. Close it and switch it off. Okay, nanti tutup api dan tinggalkan sekejap sebelum kita hidang. Eh? Just leave it like that before you serve it. If you really want, you can put in some coriander leaves, but I think I want to leave it like that because if you put in coriander leaves, it will I think camouflage the taste of the coconut oil. This is barracuda fish curry with coconut milk. Inilah kari ikan kacang dengan santan ya. Cubalah di rumah dan jangan lupa like, subscribe dan share resepi-resepi saya. Don't forget to like and share my recipes. Thank you. Bye-bye.